Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to be adding money using a place value chart. Our objective says I can model addition of money using a place value chart. So we want to show $24.36 plus $16.82. And I'm going to show that using a place value chart. So the first thing I need to do is to create my place value chart. Each of my uh, money values has a tens place, ones place, tenths place, and hundredths place. So I've made a space for each of those um, in my place value chart. Of course, you can simplify this and just do one line across and some lines down for your place values. You don't need an entire box when you draw your own. So I'm going to put in $24.36. That's made up of two tens. So there's my two $10 bills. It's made up of four ones, so here's one, two, three, four ones, uh, three tenths, and with money, a tenth is represented by a dime because it takes 10 dimes to equal one dollar. So we have three tenths, and then we have six hundredths, and in this case, hundredths are going to be shown with pennies because it takes 100 pennies to uh, be equivalent to one dollar. So I'll count out one, two, three, four, five, six pennies. Next, I'm going to show $16.82, and that's made up of one ten, six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight tenths, or eight dimes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two hundredths, or two pennies, one, two. All right, now, uh, since I'm adding, I'm just going to combine these. I'm going to take away all those lines so I can look just at the money uh, values and combine those. When I add or subtract numbers, I always start with the smallest place value. And in this case, the smallest place value is not the ones place. So we're not starting with the ones place, we're actually starting with the hundredths place. That's my place value that's furthest to the right, so it's my smallest place value. So I'm going to count up how many hundredths I have. I have my six pennies here, plus two more, so that's eight hundredths, eight pennies. I dropped my decimal in so that we could see that that was the hundredths place. There's going to be something here in the tenths place as well to show that that will be in the hundredths place. Now I move to my next smaller place value, which is the tenths place. And I'm going to count those up. I see I have 8 here. 5 plus 3 is 8. 9, 10, 11. So I have 10 or more. So I can bundle up 10 of those and exchange them for a $1 bill. So I'm going to count up 10 of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 dimes can be exchanged for $1 bill. They have the same value. So I'm going to take those 10 dimes, bundle them up, and exchange them for a $1 bill. So I'm only left with one dime. So then that means I'm going to put a 1 in the tenths place. Now I move to my next smaller place value, which is the ones place. And I can see I have two sets of five. So I have 10 plus one more, I have 11 ones. Again, when I have 10 or more, I can bundle them up and exchange them for the next higher place value. So in this case, 10 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 ones can be exchanged for one 10. So I'll go ahead and swap those out. And I'm left with only one $1 bill in my ones place. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that in my ones place. And then lastly, I look at my tens place. Originally, I had two tens and one ten, but because I bundled up ten of my ones, I have one, two, three, four tens. So when I add $24.36 and $16.82, I get $41.18. Our objective said I can model addition of money using a place value chart. Why did I do this? So we could see the bundling action. We could see the regrouping when we have 10 or more, how we exchange those and carry them to the next higher place value so that we can exchange 10 tenths for one one and 10 ones for one 10. Thanks for watching.